We're going to start this question with an important geometry idea stated here. When a point is reflected over a mirror line and a segment is constructed between the point and its reflected image, the mirror line is the perpendicular bisector of this segment. So what that means is if we're ever told that a line is a perpendicular bisector of a segment, it immediately means that one endpoint of the segment is a reflection of the other endpoint. So now we're ready to look at the question. In a rectangular coordinate system, the line y equals x is the perpendicular bisector of segment AB. So let's stop right there. What that means is that if we reflect A over the line y equals x, right about here, then we'll get B. So B is the reflection of A over the line y equals x, and that's why the line y, y equals x is the perpendicular bisector of segment AB. And the x-axis is the perpendicular bisector of BC. So that tells us that if we reflect B over the x-axis, so we'd get a C down here, then because B and C are reflections of each other over the x-axis, this makes the x-axis the perpendicular bisector of segment BC. So the next thing that we need to know is reflecting over the line y equals x means that we swap the coordinates. So we, if a has coordinates of 2 comma 3, then b has coordinates of 3 comma 2. When we reflect over the x-axis, the x-coordinate stays the same. How far to the, to the right we are stays the same, but we go from a positive height to a negative height, 3, negative 2. And this is answer choice D.